Hello, welcome. Well, I got a review slash initial thoughts slash tips, tricks, whatever you want to call it. I got my new speed control motor in Toro SC120. This is the competition speed control sensored or sensorless. Uh, currently, I got it paired up to a 10 shock SC411. This is a 4000 kV motor. Um, you can see the sensor wires down there. It's hooked up right now through sensored. Uh, and yeah, basically I picked this up off RC Mart. Just got her wired up there today and soldered up. And I'm very impressed so far. Uh, there's not very many people talking about this CSC. I've been on the internet looking around and there's one guy he hacks on it pretty bad about the low voltage not working as he whatever and I don't know I think that was about the 150 not many people talk about this one so I thought I'd give you some input on it super cheap I picked it up to my door came with this prog box for 74 something and change now this is a lot more than just a programming card you can see there uh, you can use it to update the ESC, it's a servo tester, it's an RPM tester, you can hook it all up to your uh, motor and your receiver and everything and actually see what you're getting out of your motor. Use it to update from the computer. Yeah, it does a lot of things. And it's a accurate battery monitor. Um, compared to, I got my Hobbywing over here, and this guy is not accurate. Sorry Hobbywing, I love you guys. But uh, this thing does not give you an accurate read. It's like a good point two, point zero two, or out, out, easy. Whereas this guy is dead bang, like he is on it. So it's worth it. Um, you can get the ESC without this. Now keep in mind, this ESC, if you're looking at it at all, you probably noticed that the switch, the power switch here is a lot different than you probably used to. There's no set button, there's a single button to turn it on. So there's no way to manually program this ESC. You can't hold it, you can't count LEDs and tones and whatever. There's just, you need to purchase one of their three different programming options. One being the program box, two being this called the Skylink. I believe that's the cheapest method. It just allows you, it's basically a cable that hooks up to your computer. Then there's the Bluetooth module, which I think is freaking awesome. Um, it works for iPhone and Android, which is huge for me because my wife and I both have Androids. It's one thing I thought was really gay was with the TQI was that they only supported Apple. Like, what is that? Like, you know, okay, whatever. But I had an iPhone, my kid actually did. Well, there it is right there so I don't have an iPhone anymore um, but happy to say that this thing works awesome with an Android so basically all you need to do um, you fire it up turn the transmitter on fire the truck up and it's already on if you disconnect the battery and plug it in again then it goes through a sensor check but um, once it's, anyway, yeah, so you can see now the status LED is actually solid tone because it's already paired with my phone, um, so I'll show you actually how the app and all that works if you're interested. So now all I'm going to do is power up the truck. Now this <coughs> is the Bluetooth module. Push it down, hold it, let go, and it's going to pair up. Basically it's blinking right now. Now I'm fairly certain it's already paired, but I'm going to go check. Now let me just go to the phone real quick. If your Bluetooth's on, just go into your settings. This is an Android, which awesome Bluetooth and there it is it's paired already now if it wasn't paired you would see it right here you'd click on it it would say pairing a thing would pop up you press OK and that's it now you go ahead and download the Sky RC Link app as you can see it's right there 
so I'm going to open this. And now it's going to looking looking for ESE. Please waiting. <laughs> it's got some pretty bad English in spots. And there it goes. So now you'll notice on the truck you have a solid link. So you turn off the truck. Anyway, so basically you have all your options in here. So you can go through, set your throttle curves if you'd like to do you know, if you want to do a line instead of, or a custom throttle, you know, whatever. Uh, you can do all that. You throw all dead bend. You got your brake. I've got it just maxed out right now, but again, you can set all your your brake curves and goes into the turbo. And then your upgrade option. So you can set the ESC back to default, ESC read, which will just read all the settings. If you change stuff, you hit the apply, it will save it to the ESC. Simple as that. So I think, you know, they're a step ahead of most with this kind of technology to be able to do this trackside with your phone. This simplifies so many things. Uh, not, many, not many manufacturers have this, like a Bluetooth like this, I think. I know of Reventin, like Speed Passion, they got one with the Reventin Pro ESC. And there's another one I can't remember right now, but there's not many that have the Bluetooth as of right now. So, so far I'm having really good luck with this. I like it a lot. Uh, for the price point, it's pretty good. If you're looking for a sensor to ESC, I'll give you some more running videos. Tomorrow I'll button down and we can. Uh, Check it on the street, and yeah, I'm gonna waterproof it as well, and I'm gonna race with this thing. So I will give another review three months down the road, six months down the road, whenever, and update you along the way. And if anything changes, you'll see captions right now in this video. So thanks again for watching, and hope to see you again.